Newcastle disease is a fascinating entity. Its first outbreak in the English-speaking world actually occurred in Newcastle upon Tyne in England, and so that's how it's sort of known as Newcastle disease. But everywhere you go, it has its own local name, and it was causing huge mortality and impacting dramatically on farmers' lives. <laughs> It's a vaccine that could cope with village conditions where we don't always have refrigeration and also a vaccine that was safe enough to be able to give to birds of all ages. So it goes from the lab out through the provinces and districts and it's finally administered by community vaccinators who are able to receive a small fee for administering the vaccine to the farmer's birds. Masomo niliopata niliafurahia sana. Unachanja hata kuku kwa asubuhi 10 au jioni unachanja hata kaya 5. Ash is a very special lady. She is our star vaccinator. I think in the last campaign in May, she vaccinated 1,500 birds. Hakuna dawa, wala kinga wakati wa likuwa hakuna. Lakini kwa sasa hivi tumepata kinga, kuku wanaendelea vizuri, tunashukuru mungu. Poultry meat and eggs are really fantastic sources of high quality um, nutrients. Tulikuwa hatu wapi, vivekula vinavyo tokana na mayai, na zaula kuku kama mayai na matoke yake matumbo yalikuwa yanakuwa makubwa sasa baada ya kupata mafunzo tukawa tumeona umuhimu wa kuelimisha wakina mama juu ya lishe bora kwa watoto kwa hiyo hilo tatizo liliisha One special thing about village poultry is that they're often the only livestock that women have some say over some control over in their life and so being able to give them some certainty about their assets is really quite transformational. Kukune wafuga, ni kuku wanipa faida ya kula mayai, mboga za haraka, gine na uza, na somesha watoto. Nani ya nifanyi hili suwali ya? Nani ya nifanyi hili suwali? Nimesha badilisha na mbuzi kwa mdau wa nene, kwa awamu hii ya chanjo wa mwezi watani. Once we had that model, AusAid then agreed to fund the expansion of the work. So it went from Mozambique, Tanzania, Malawi, Zambia, working across a larger number of countries, but really ensuring that the model was sustainable. Manzoni kabisa nilikuwa kwenye hicho kibanda cha nyasi hapa. Hata nyumba nilikuwa sijajia nilikuwa nakaa kwenye tembe. Lakini baada ya mafanikio ya hii miaka mitatu, Nimeweza kujenga haya mabanda ya kuku. Nimeweza kujenga nimefungua hapo kwa biashara yangu. Nyumbani nene nimeshajenga. IPTC watu zaidi ya watano wananiuliza juu ya ufugaji wa kuku na ni nini siri ya mafanikio. Niliamua kuanzisha kikundi cha wafugaji wa kuku. Sanya mayai kwa pamoja. Tunauza mayai yasiyopungua 800 mara we have had a request from the African Union Vaccine Centre to work with them now to build capacity both in terms of vaccine production and quality control. And I'm pleased that the Australian International Food Security Centre is also funding to enable us to build on some of the successes we've had. Woo, 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 woo.